This video was brought to you by Cardiograph, which is our new interactive web application where you can learn to read EKGs. The QT interval is indicated here, measured from the beginning of the QRS complex to the end of the T wave. It represents the time it takes for the ventricles of the heart to depolarize and repolarize, or contract and relax. Because this interval varies with heart rate, we often account for this variability by calculating a corrected QT interval, or QTC for short. Normally, the QTC is less than 440 milliseconds in males and less than 460 in females. Any longer is considered prolonged, with QTC intervals greater than 500 milliseconds putting people at risk for arrhythmias like torsades. This prolongation can occur for a multitude of reasons including congenital cardiac syndromes, electrolyte disorders, and even being caused by certain types of medications, leading to a drug-induced long QT interval. There are many medications that can cause this, so here is a quick trick to help you remember the classes of medications which put people at risk. Just remember the ABCs of drug-induced QT prolongation, or more specifically, the ABCDEs. That's A for antiarrhythmics, B for antibiotics, C for antipsychotics, D for antidepressants, and E for antiemetics. Although this list doesn't cover every single medication that can cause a prolonged QT interval, it's a nice way to start to organize the many medications that can cause a prolongation of a person's QT interval. More importantly, I found this mnemonic covers most of the medication classes that are most likely to be tested on your clinical exams. If you have your own little trick to remember these medications, leave them in the comment below. This video was brought to you by Cardiograph, which is our new interactive web application where you can learn to read EKGs. With Cardiograph, you'll learn to master the basic principles of cardiac electrophysiology and be able to recognize some of the most common arrhythmias that you'll likely encounter in your clinical practice. Learn more about Cardiograph at medschool.com cardiograph.